I'm home at last. Hi, Mr. Greedon. Oh, hi, Liberty. How are you doing? What's wrong, Mr. Greedon? You seem down. Well, Liberty, I'm just going to be cliche and say nothing. Nothing's wrong. From studying cliches, I know that if I keep pressing you, you'll say what's wrong. So, there must be something wrong. <sighs> you really want to know, Liberty? Of course, Mr. Greedon. I'm your best friend. Okay, Liberty. Let me tell you the truth. And that's what it all happened. Oh, well, I'm so sorry to hear that, Mr. Greedon. First, I got fired at McDonald's in Unikingdom. Then I got fired at three jobs in Plotagon City. And then I got evicted from my house. And now, I have to live with my parents. Well, Mr. Greedon, are you sure it's not a made-up story? You know what, Liberty? I have an idea. Why don't we watch one of my videos to see the, the whole story you want to see? That would be a great idea. Okay. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go watch my video. Hey there, I'm Liberty, and Mr. Greedon wanted to tell you to make sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more Puppicorn videos, so I hope you enjoy. Anyways, this is Liberty, signing off. Hey, you need to eat? Yes, Puppet Corn. I'm hungry for dinner. Can we go to McDonald's tonight? Sure, Puppet Corn. We can go to McDonald's. You have been good for quite some time now, so I think I can trust you to behave. Now, come on, let's get in the unicar. Welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? Oh, hi, Mr. Grayton. I didn't know you worked at McDonald's. Yeah, I came here to get a job at McDonald's because YouTube is not working out for me. And let me guess, are you going to insult me because of my look? Of course not. Why would I ever say that to you? Because these customers called me a Chinese virus, an Asian freak, and they wish they all want me to go back to where I came from. Oh, well that's not very nice, Mr. Grayton. Yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that. No, I deserve it. Anyways, what can I all get you tonight? I would like to get a quarter pounder with medium fries, a medium coke, and a strawberry milkshake, please. And I would like to get a bacon with double with large fries, a large Fanta slushy, and a chips ahoy McFlurry, please. I'm sorry to say this puppy corn, but we have ran out of Fanta slushies. Oh, okay. Maybe I will go with large fries instead. Okay, that'll be fifteen ninety five. Okay, thank you, Mr. Grayton, and I hope things will get better for you. Thanks, Unikitty and Puppycorn, I appreciate that. Puppycorn, I'm so proud of you for behaving yourself at McDonald's. That's it, you are ungrounded for a million years, go do whatever you want. Thanks, Unikitty, but there's something I want to talk about. What is it, Puppycorn? I wonder what Mr. Grayton is doing at McDonald's now. Don't worry, Puppycorn. I'm sure he'll be fine. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. How may I help you tonight? I would like to get a large quarter pounder meal with fries, a Coke, and a vanilla milkshake. Me and Dale, we would like to get a double cheeseburger medium meal with some Coke and fries, please. And I would like to get a Big Mac large meal with the French fries, 
a Coke and a nice Chips Ahoy McFlurry, please? I'm sorry, sir, but we're all out of the Chips Ahoy and Oreo McFlurries. What? Please tell me you are kidding right now. But look on the bright side. How about you can have a cinnamon roll instead? No, I want what I want and that is final. Boris, stop acting like a spoiled brat. You can either have a cinnamon roll or get nothing. I got a better idea, Doris. Why don't you engage me? Engage me, engage me, engage me, engage me, engage me, engage me, engage me. Uh oh. Hello and welcome to Unikingdom News. Tonight's news is, Boris Anderson, misbehaved at McDonald's because he didn't get the Chips Ahoy McFlurry he wanted, and they will be fined $20,000 for property damage. And another bad news is, Mr. Grayton, the creator of Puppicorn Gets Ungrounded series, has been fired at McDonald's for disrespecting all the customers. And that's what it all happened, Liberty. Oh my, I feel so sorry for you that people have a no respect for you. I guess you're telling the truth. Anyways, is there anything else about your problem in your life? Well, I don't think there's anything. What about your story about you getting fired at three jobs in Plotagon City? You know what? I think I have one more video that, that talks about me getting fired now that you mentioned that. Let's watch it. It's called Mr. Graydon Gets Three Jobs at Plotagon City and Gets Fired. So, what are we waiting for, Liberty? Let's watch the video and see me getting fired. So you can see the whole story, Liberty. Griadin presents. Mr. Griadin gets three jobs at Plotagon City slash fired. Hey what's up you guys, so today I will be working at three jobs at Plotagon City, I got hired at three jobs in Plotagon City so, I gotta go work, a new MacBook Pro doesn't pay for itself, I gotta buy these expensive electronics, I got bills to pay, and unfortunately I have to get a job in the Plotagon world, cause you know my YouTube career has plummeted, gone down the drain, and no one watches and supports my channel anymore. So, I go there and start working at three jobs in Plotagon City, so I hope you enjoy. Also, before we start the video, I just wanna say this video is based on the Stop Asian Hates, I'm not trying to offend anyone, or make everybody scared or something like that. This video is for entertainment purposes only, so I hope you understand the situation. Anyways, let's get this video started. I'm running low on money this month, so what should I start working at first? Wait, I know, I should work at the Plotagon Cafe first, and if that doesn't work out, then I will work at the Plotagon Grocery Store, and then I will work at the Plotagon Video Game Store. So without further ado, let's go get a job at the Plotagon World. Meanwhile at the Plotagon Cafe. Hello Mr. Grayton, welcome to your first day of working at the Plotagon Cafe, my name is Joaquin, and I will be your manager for this cafe, anyways, your job is to become a cashier, so you may start working. Okay, thanks boss. Welcome to the Plotagon Cafe, may I take your order please? No way, I'm not taking an order from a Chinese virus, I'm leaving, this place stinks because of you, what is this, a Chinese restaurant? Hey. I'm not a Chinese virus, I'm Korean. That was rude, I didn't do anything to him. Welcome to the Plotagon Cafe, may I take your order please? I would like to get a pumpkin spice latte, a blueberry muffin, and a small cappuccino please. I'm sorry to say this, but we are all out of pumpkin spice lattes right now. Why not? Because they're all sold out, but look on the bright side. How about you can have a vanilla latte instead? No. Because first off, I hate vanilla lattes. Second off, you shouldn't be working here. 
because you're an Asian freak, so you clearly belong living in China, or Asia, or whatever it's called. Sir, you need to calm down, I am not an Asian freak, I do belong here in this country, and I am not Chinese, I'm Korean. Whatever, I am leaving, this place stinks because of you. You have got to be kidding me, these people are so rude to me, because they think I'm an Asian freak, or a Chinese virus, but I'm not. Welcome to the Plotter Gum Cafe. May I take your order, please? Um, no thank you. I will come back another day. Goodbye. That's strange. She didn't ask me why she left. Hello, welcome to the Plotter Gum Cafe. How may I serve you this afternoon? I would like to get a ice caramel latte with a chocolate chip cookie, please. I'm sorry, sir, but we are all out of chocolate chip cookies. What? Are you kidding me? I drove all the way here for 6 hours, and the chocolate chip cookies are already sold out. Maybe you ate them all so I won't get my cookies, huh? No sir, I would never ever do that to you, I'm telling the truth. There are literally no more chocolate chip cookies right now. Stop lying, I don't wanna hear your excuses. Go check out the kitchen you Chinese virus. Sir, you need to calm down, I already checked the kitchen, and I'm telling you the honest truth. There are no more chocolate chip cookies in the kitchen. You know what? That's it. I'm going to another plotter on cafe. Go get yourself fired Chinese virus. Man, I hate my job. Hi, welcome to the plotter on cafe. How may I serve you this afternoon? Oh, hi Mr. Greedon. What are you doing here at the Plotagon cafe? Here, let me explain. After Mr. Griadin explained the situation with Unikity. Oh my, that's so sad that people have a no respect for you. I'm so sorry to hear that. Anyways, I would like to get an iced caramel latte with a blueberry muffin and a vanilla frat, please. Okay, that will be $12.98. Okay, thanks Mr. Greedon, and I hope things will get better for you. You're welcome, and thank you Unikity, that was very kind of you. Hello, welcome to the Plotagon. Master Frown, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be grounded? No, and second off, I came here to order. Anyways, I would like to get an iced mocha latte with an impossible sandwich and a sugar iced cookie please. I'm sorry Master Frown, but we are all out of sugar iced cookies. Really, why? Because they sold out yesterday, why don't you just... No, I want what I want and that is final. That's it. I'm telling the manager. Don't worry sir, I will fire that young man right now. Mr. Grayton, how dare you disrespect all of my customers at the Plotagon Cafe. That's it, you are fired. But sir, I didn't disrespect all the customers. They disrespected me. Silence, I don't wanna hear your excuses. I want you to get out of my cafe, or I will call the police. Now go away you Chinese virus. Very well, but I'm telling you the truth. I never ever disrespected all those customers. I can't believe I got fired from the Plotter Gun Cafe, and it's all those customers fault. No problem, I will just work at the Plotter Gun Grocery Store next. So without further ado, let's head over there. Meanwhile at the Plotter Gun Grocery Store. Hello Mr. Griadin, welcome to the Plotter Gun Grocery Store. My name is Dave. And I will be your manager, your job is to be a cashier, so you can go ahead and start working. Okay, thanks Dave. Hello, have you found everything okay? No way, I'm gonna leave, this place stinks because of you. That was rude, I thought I cleaned myself. Hello, welcome to the Plotagon grocery store, finding everything okay? No way. I don't want to get sick from you, because you look like a Chinese virus, I am leaving. Hey! That's rude, and I'm not a Chinese virus, I'm Korean. I can't believe people have no respect for me, because I was Chinese or Asian. Good afternoon, finding everything okay? Yes I am, and I would like to use this coupon please. I'm sorry ma'am, this coupon is expired. What? Are you kidding me? Why are you lying to me? Ma'am, you need to calm down, I am not lying to you. I said that this coupon has expired already, 
so I don't know what to do about that. Then I want to speak to you, manager. Don't worry, ma'am. I will fire that man right now. Mr. Riadin, I can't believe you disrespected all my customers at my grocery store. That's it, you are fired. But sir, I didn't disrespect all those customers, they disrespected me. And they even called me names. Shut up, I don't want to hear your lies and excuses. You are disgraceful and a Chinese virus to my company, that's it, get out of my grocery store or else I will call the police. Okay then, thanks for my feedback, I am leaving. I can't believe they fired me at the Plotagon grocery store, I wasn't disrespecting all the customers at all. Well, there's just one more job I can work at, and that is the Plotagon video game store. Well, third time's a charm, here we go. Meanwhile at the Plotagon video game store. Hello Mr. Griadin, welcome to the Plotagon video game store. My name is Paul, and I will be your manager for this store. Anyways your job is to work as a cashier. Anyways you may start working. Okay, thanks Mr. Paul. Hello, welcome to the Plotagon video game store. What can I help you with? I would like to get the new Call of Duty Vanguard for the PlayStation 5 please. Then can I see some ID? What kind of a stupid question is that? Sir, I'm asking for your ID, because I want to make sure you're old enough to play that game, and it's rated M for mature, unless you have a parent or guardian with you. I don't care, if you don't give me that game right now, I will get you fired. Sir, you need to calm down. No. You calm down? I already told you that I want the new Call of Duty Vanguard game for the PlayStation 5, and that is a final. Then either show me your ID, or bring your parents with you. You know what, that's it, I am leaving, go get yourself fired Chinese virus. Excuse me, what did you just call me? Nothing, I'm going now, goodbye. Well that was a waste of my time. Hello, how may I help you this afternoon? I know thank you. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. That was weird. He didn't ask me why he's leaving. Hello, how may I help you this afternoon? Um no thank you, because first of all, you're a Chinese virus and Asian freak, so I obviously don't want to get sick from you, so goodbye. Hey, I'm not a Chinese virus, and a Asian freak, I'm Korean. Whatever, I'm gonna leave. This place stinks because of you. Ugh, why do people keep disrespecting me and calling me a Chinese virus? This is so unfair. Hello, welcome to the Plotagon video game store. What can I help you with? I would like to get the new Battlefield 2042 for the PlayStation 5, please. Then, can I see some ID, please? No way. Why do I want to show you my stupid ID? Because this game is rated M for mature, that means you have to be 17 or older to play and buy this game or have a parent or guardian to buy and play this game. I don't care, if you don't give me the new Battlefield 2042 for the PlayStation 5, I will get the manager to get you fired. Don't worry young man, I will fire that man right now. Mr. Riadin, how dare you disrespect all of my customers at my Plotagon video game store. That's it, you are fired. But sir, I didn't disrespect the customers, they disrespected me, honest. Be quiet, do you think I care? I don't want to hear your stupid excuses. Now get out of my video game store before I call the police, you Chinese virus. Very well sir, but I'm telling the truth, I didn't disrespect your customers. You know what, that's it, I give up, I'm gonna go back home. I'm sick and tired of being treated differently. When Mr. Griadin got home, and he found out the police evicted his house for not paying his rent on time. Sorry Mr. Griadin, you're gonna have to find somewhere else to live, this house is officially closed, you are officially evicted, so go home and leave. But ma'am, I have nowhere else to go, please let me pay the rent, I will do anything. It's too late now, this house is officially off limits. And besides, you're trespassing property, so why don't you get out of here, you Chinese virus? Meanwhile at the dark alley. Man, I can't believe I got fired at three jobs, gotten evicted from my house, 
and now I am homeless, so I don't know what to do now. To be continued. So you see, Liberty, this is why I want to quit YouTube and get a real job out in the world. Because my YouTube career has been plummeted down the drain. Nobody supports my channel anymore, and I'm not making a lot of money, so... That's why I need a job. Because I recently got evicted. And everybody keeps insulting me because of my look. I'm not a Chinese virus or Asian freak. I'm Korean. I'm just a normal human being just like the other people are. I don't know what to do, Liberty. Aw, uh, don't feel bad, Mr. Graydon. I'm sure there's other jobs you can work at. Tried it. Nobody would hire me because of my look. <sighs> Today's been a hard life for me. So, Mr. Graydon, what are you gonna do now? Well, Liberty, I guess we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow and decide. Hey Liberty, guess what? I got good news! What is it, Mr. Graydon? My dad asked me to work at his beauty supply store. Isn't that great? Yes it is. I'm so glad to hear that, my friend. But what about YouTube? Nah, don't worry about YouTube. Cause I got a better job. I'm going to be working at a beauty supply store at my dad's. Isn't this wonderful? Of course it is. Congratulations, Mr. Greedon, for getting hired at a beauty supply store. I'm so proud of you, my friend. Thanks, Liberty. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got to get to work. Bye, Liberty. See you later. See you soon, Mr. Greedon. Man, I'm so proud of him for being hired. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you understand my feelings well, what this video is all about. So if you can guys give me some more subscribers, more likes, more comments, please show some love. Any spirit change helps. Really need to guys, I got fired, I lost my jobs in the past couple videos. So. So please, everybody, support my channel, cause, cause I'm trying to, to make a better life for me, cause apparently my life is, is worse than, I, than I thought. So, so please support, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, because I work so hard to make these for you guys. <sighs> I just wish that you you guys were more supportive. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, like I said, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys next year. Thanks for watching. Peace out.
Bye.